All right, live from New York, day two here at DevOps Days. I'm here with Jonathan Reams. Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing quite well. And you are at MongoDB. Yes. So, um, local company here to New York City. Um, you guys just made, you've been around for a while, been big news, but just got a huge round of funding. Yes. Uh, do you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so, it was the, uh, the largest, so we're, you know, what, what it says in the press is we are the most, it's the largest amount of money raised in our industry ever. Um, and we're all really excited about it. Um, and yeah, it's, I think in the, it was about $150 million, which that's real money. Huge. That's yeah. real money. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. And so now, um, maybe for people who aren't familiar with Mongo, just a high level of what it is. So MongoDB is a full featured general purpose database uh, that is, uh, it's a NoSQL database. So there's no SQL language that goes with it. Um, it stores documents instead of uh, tables and columns. So instead of those, you have sort of JSON like documents. And then you can interact with it in ways that are pretty much the way you would interact with a more traditional database. Um, you can put indexes on any field. You can do, you know, aggregation queries. Um, it has some MapReduce capabilities, um, and it has some improvements or some advantages in speed uh, for over tr more traditional relational databases. Um, it with sort of the, the sacrifice of some uh, of relational data between your collections of data. So. You get speed. You it has some features for scaling out, and you know it's a pretty great database. And so, how would it compare just generally to people like uh, Basho or um, uh, Couchbase? Is there a is there a way that that you position yourselves? You say we do this. Uh, I mean, I think we're you know I, the way I look at it is we're trying to be just a very good general database. We're trying to add. Um, sort of as many things to sort of how you can query it as possible. Um, and it's not, you know, that a lot of other NoSQL stores are more akin to just key value stores where you generate a key and you store this blob and the database doesn't know a lot about what's in the blob. It just can pull it back on the request of the key. Where, you know, in MongoDB, if you have a pair of coordinates, you can ask it, give me all, all the documents that are geographically near these coordinates, which, you know, is an interesting query to do. Um, so that's, I think, where we're positioning ourselves. And also, you know, recently IBM standardized on our query language for their uh, NoSQL project. So we're, I think we're, we're trying to sort of become the standard in That's a decent NoSQL. endorsement. That's yeah. a decent endorsement. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, your your title is I'm a systems engineer, and you're in the in, in the DevOps team. Okay. So we have started uh, semi recently. Uh, in addition to writing the database, we offer some ops tools to help manage the database. So if if you are a Mongo customer, we will monitor your Mongo for free, um, and you can also backup. We do hosted backups for customers. Um, not for free, but for a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there, there are some other things coming down the line that hopefully will make it so, you know, one of the really great things about Mongo is that it's great for developers. Like, it's easy to develop against. When I started at Mongo, I had never used Mongo, and within a couple days, I had written an app that actually did something really useful. And, you know, after having spent weeks and weeks trying to figure out how to get, like, SQL alchemy to do what I wanted with, you know, my SQL. Um, but we're trying to make it so that it's really great for ops people as well. Okay. So that it's great, you know, it's easy to manage if you're a DBA or a sysadmin, and it's easy to develop for if you're a developer. So just to, to conclude with, any things that um, you can talk about as far as for the next year, either on the dev side or the ops side, that you're looking to add that you've talked about or uh yeah i mean so we're working hard on the 
uh, our 2.6 release, which I think is due, I heard it was due in, you know, in the next couple months. Um, and that's going to add a whole bunch of new features. And that's, that's good. That's always good for a company to do. And on the upside, we are working on um, something, you know, a sort of a management suite. In addition to just monitoring it, you know, making it easier to, you know, spin up a replica set or spin up a sharded cluster with replica sets. Um, you know, because right now that's, that's all pretty manual and you have to actually get into the shell and run the commands. And we're, we're hoping to get it to a point where that's a point and click type operation. So. Awesome. Yeah. Jonathan Reams, thank you so much. Thank you.